Our next uh, topic, Russia uses the Su-57 to attack ground targets. I don't know if that's exactly what it says, but um, they have seen it uh, use of the Su-57 to attack targets in Ukraine, which is interesting. You know, I did the uh, video of the air show and we did it as a, a threat brief. It's interesting how many Su-57s they've produced because Two years ago, or three years ago, when I did that video, they were down to one operational jet. They had a bunch of pro prototypes, but they only had one that was in a squadron. And now it looks like they're in, you know, double digits. But press the, the, the article is, is is singular in in a couple of instances. So is it really? Know. Maybe it's still the one guy. I don't. You know, it's just it still the like one. The yeah. um, it's from a channel on Telegram called Eradar, which has close links to the Ukrainian military. And they're reporting that the Su-57 is active in the skies above Luhansk. Um, it may have been involved in recent missile, mission strikes on Ukrainian positions along the front line. It goes on to describe, we did that before, so everybody should know. Um, it had been reported to be in combat in Syria over Syria in 2018. Unconfirmed reports emerged in May 2022 that the the Su-57 was being used in Ukraine, launching missile, missile strikes beyond the reaches of Kyiv's air defense. The Russian defense minister stated, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, uh, stated in August that the aircraft had performed exceptionally well. And it's important to note that the, mili the Russian military has occasionally resorted to overt manipulation and falsehoods. No, never. What? The no. UK Ministry of Defense made a similar claim, stating that R Russia has almost certainly used. So for me, and I, I, you guys already mentioned this, there's an awful lot of, well, they might be using some of them, not they are using X number of them. Right. And it says these assertions lack irrefutable publicly available evidence. And I see that a lot. You see, it's it's the meme. I don't know if it's the meme theory or what, but you'll see this in comments that I get. Anytime something happens, we talked about the Su-57, I'm sure in this video we'll get it too, where people will then repeat this as fact. They'll be like, well, it has the longest air, air kill with a nuclear-powered yeah. missile, right. and you guys didn't talk about it, and it's the greatest missile in the history of the world. And it's like, we don't have that data. There's nothing verified coming out of this. There's a whole lot of speculation, but then as soon as somebody says it, They'll go, it's the greatest fighter that's ever lived. Cherish your Su-57 that shot down a 200-kilometer kill, you know, which is almost 100, a little over 100 nautical miles. Um, which is, what's the math on that, Douglas? It's 200, 110? I'll have to Google it, but I will do that. Hang on. I thought you could do this yeah. in your head. You said you had the conversion in your head. Double it at that 30. That's, oh. there's, there's too many steps in that one. Oh, uh, okay. It's 124 uh, miles. 124 miles. So, you know, but then it's unconfirmed. It's never right. official data. And obviously the Russians aren't going to be forthright. And obviously what we know is not going to be open source. So we're limited to articles like this. Uh, yeah. I don't know. What do, you, what do you, I mean, it's like, it's, it almost reminds me of them when we use the F-22 in the Middle East, just to say we did it. You know, yeah. we were putting little baby bombs on these jets just to drop some iron and be like, yes, we've used this in combat when really it's yeah. still a Zamboni driver. Yeah. I think you just got to look at the big picture and, and, and you know, and it's, wait, is it the 124 mile kill, kill, whatever it's, it's the fact that they're, if, if it's true that they're using their, their, their most advanced fighter, which they have very few of. Yeah. Whether, regardless of what the numbers are, if it's seven or 10 or 20, it's still very few in this conflict with those threats is significant. Yeah. It says, it says that they're flankers and they're fulcrums. Uh, maybe they're running out of those. Yeah. Know. It's hard. It's hard to know. You know, it, 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 it's, there is not enough information. I tell you who knows is the nerds in the back in the vault. They know, and they're oh, getting yeah. every bit of data that they can off of yeah. this conflict. Oh Yeah. <laughs> For sure. We know. I mean, so it's good in, in that thing. But then the Russians know that. And so they're not tipping their hand. What they do is not necessarily what they need to do, depending on the threat. And I don't know. Maybe they're not that high speed. Maybe they're just doing whatever they can because they're struggling to survive. Yeah. I mean, the, the bottom line is we just don't know. Uh, yeah. There's not enough 
re- reliable, verifiable information coming out of that conflict. We know that on the ground, it's World War One. Yeah, it's trench warfare. How do we know that? Because we got a lot of a lot of firsthand video on the from the from the ground soldiers, but yeah. up in the air, we don't know. I mean, they've got a they've got a, they both have pretty sophisticated, you know, integrated air defense system capability. Yep. How they're employing that, how effective it is, we don't know. But uh, but you know, we were joking a little bit last time I was on about how low those those uh, Su twenty fives are flying. Then I sent you some video. Did you see that? I mean, yeah. Holy cow! I mean, and so, and then, and then I saw some other another article about even even the Ukrainians flying their fulcrums that low as well, just to uh, stay, um, you know, stay under the radar. Well, there was a video I saw yesterday: uh, the hip and the hind avoiding eighteen wheelers because they yes. were on the they were on yeah. the highway and they yeah. would pop up a little bit when an eighteen because they were going beak to beak with it. It pop up, go, which of yeah. course you see a hip and you get, you start salivating, right? That's the. <laughs> Seen that? I've seen that? <laughs> yeah. Aspect being like this, yeah. Yeah, you're just like, Absolutely. oh, a target. Yeah. Yep. That's, big, uh, big, she's a big girl. <laughs>